Wadensee. <laughs> uh, oh, I should say it in Dutch, uh, Wadensee. Okay. So this is a, a wonderful place to work, a uh, very shallow uh, sea. Um, with intriguing aspects and uh, although it has been studied for so many years there's still amazing uh, secrets that we are trying to unravel now by doing this type of research. This is basically a monitoring program of uh, the fauna uh, in the water sea. My name is Lodewijk van Walraven. I'm a PhD student here at the, the Netherlands Institute for Sea Research. I started uh, two years ago with a PhD on uh, jellyfish. The project is being done in collaboration with another Dutch institute, Deltares. Uh, what I find most interesting in working with jellyfish is that there's so many unknowns, even in a well-studied ecosystem like uh, the Wadden Sea or the North Sea. So basically everything you do is, uh, is new in that regard, and that makes it really interesting. Uh, today we are going to uh, to monitor uh, the species composition and the densities of the different species uh, in the Wadden Sea. For several years we have been concentrated on those organisms that are living in the bottom, but we really realized that we are missing a huge amount of information and a crucial piece of the, of the story by not looking at those that also live in the water bottom. Well, of course you can see that a lot of animals are growing up here, like herring and other species, or this one. They're growing in the Wadden Sea, they're uh, getting big here. But we also saw that anchovy, which everybody thought was extinct after the, the enclosure dam was made. No, it wasn't, it's still there, but we never fished for it, so now we see it again. This project is uh, important because the uh, species we are studying, and especially this uh, invasive species, uh, the American coombe jellyfish, Nemiopsis lydii, it's uh, a notorious invader of uh, aquatic ecosystems. And the main problem is that it has the same prey as uh, fish like herring and uh, spread and anchovy. So if uh, this species can multiply really rapidly, then, then uh, they could outcompete fish. There are many, many, many. Yeah, there are really a lot. And it is really a species that you see more and more, so it's, um, it's quite spectacular actually. The night transect and the night sampling is extremely important. Because again, it can give us an idea and cover certain aspects that were never um, covered before. What you can see is, is a big difference from the catch during the day, is that there, now there are a lot of shrimp in the catch that uh, are normally uh, at the, present at the seafloor, but during the night they come up into the water column and, and the amount of uh, Nemiopsis is just enormous. During the night, some fish have no way of avoiding the net. That is really reflected on the on the comparison of the day and the night catches. It's now molting. This uh, project is a, a collaboration between uh, different research institutes of uh, the Netherlands, France, uh, Belgium, and uh, the UK. In the, each of these uh, countries, people are uh, sampling uh, this species, take the same samples at each location. That makes it really much easier to compare. Also, we can exchange a lot of ideas and data and do all the analysis on one aspect in one place, so that really helps. The functioning is dependent on different components that work together. And most of the times you cannot predict what's going to happen if you only look at a little tiny piece of the whole system. So for me, this is really amazing.